Mr. Eggplant presents... Hey guys, Tyler here, and thank you for checking out this video. And we're already on week four uh, of my Marksman Hunter journey here in the first season of The War Within. I hope you guys are having a really great start to your season. Uh, so I'm already really close to Keystone uh, Master to 2000 rating. We're getting closer each and every week to AOTC, and then eventually over to Keystone Hero, and then we'll just see how far I can push uh, up the Mythic Plus ladder for the rest of the season. Uh, but but uh, week four is going to be starting off with the week three vault. And I had almost a full vault. Unfortunately, I did not do eight uh, Mythic Plus keys. I only did four, but we managed to do a seven, eight, or a seven, seven, eight, nine. So we didn't quite get to 10. That'll be the start of that myth track. Uh, but I'm hoping to get into a 10 this week. That way I can start uh, fishing for those myth track items. <sighs> All right, well, uh, I'm not going to do too much more talking. I'm going to make sure that my specialization is set to marksman since I have been fishing for a survival weapon from in raid uh, for the mage tower. I hope I can get one and then that video will be out here sooner rather than later. But, okay, I, I am, uh, I'm going to be, hopefully, really, there's just a ton of options. I don't really want a weapon since I do have that crafted weapon and I don't want wrists. Uh, but we're most likely going to be getting something from Delves, which will be all 616 gear. Uh, or um, stuff from Mythic Plus, which will be either 616 or 619. And I guess that we could get lucky and get some um, very rare items from Raid. But... Let's go ahead and see what I get. And it is customary. I'm going to be blocking the screen. That way I can only see uh, one item at a time. And let's start off with Raid. Uh, so first and foremost, we have that very rare item from... I forget which boss this is from. Um, let me look here really fast. Uh, this is from uh, Sikrin. There we go. Okay, so Sikrin item there. Not too bad. Uh, let's see what I got Next one is going to be Hero Track Shoulders. Do I actually have Hero Track already? I do, so that would not be an upgrade there. And then the last option is the Writhing Ringworm, which I've seen, I think, twice now. Uh, so, unfortunately, nothing good out of Raid. But let's go ahead and check out the first Mythic Plus option, uh, which is Experiment 08752's Band. It's a heavy versatility over haste. Probably not what we're looking for. What do we got here? We have a back piece 619. It's statted correctly. It's pretty even, almost as even as you can get um, when it comes to crit and mastery. So this is a really good pickup right now. And currently uh, my um, my cloak is a 606 champion piece. So that would be a good upgrade there. But let's see what we got down here. Uh, so we have actually a hero helm uh, with a socket. I actually already have a uh, a champion helm with a socket so that would be a pretty nice upgrade and that's definitely an option uh the next one is going to be a hero chess piece which i have champion uh no tertiaries though and then the final one is going to be a ring uh which is a uh, almost equal uh mastery over versatility ring I don't know how I feel about this. There's, uh, I, I feel like my gut is going to say go uh, with the back piece, um, but that chess piece is calling my name as well. It is a hero track. Uh, that would be something that I could get all the way up to, what is it, 622? 622, I think, is what uh, Hero Track caps out on. Uh, either way, uh, my options are going to be either to, to pick up a Hero um, Helm with a socket, which I have a champion with a socket, uh, or I can pick up that Hero Chess piece, or I'm going to pick up the uh, the cloak. It'll be one of those items. I don't think I'll I'll get um, I'll get tokens, but maybe I will after I finish to tomorrow night's raid, since will be the second. Um, day of raid for us this week but i hope you guys have a really great week i hope you guys get something really cool out of your vault and let's go ahead and throw it over to future me and see how the week went and just like that it is the end of week four and we are officially a month into the first season of the war within that feels like time is absolutely flying by i made a ton of really great progress this week on my character and then just in just progress in general for our guild uh, but also i made most of my my goals as well that i had set uh the last week uh, which one of those was to do a 10 uh to try to get keystone uh master and then to try to get enough gilded crest for that 636 uh 
crafted gun. I did not get the crafted gun made, unfortunately, so I still have that uh, 619, but I did make those other goals. So let's go ahead and talk about that. Uh, but I guess first, uh, looking at my character, I am now a 614 Marksman Hunter. I do have five set. Uh, and then I did pick up that locket of broken memories from uh, Raid. Actually rolled this, two of them dropped, and I rolled 100 tr twice. Absolutely crazy there. Uh, and then, uh, let's see, what else? I ended up uh, having those glyph uh, etched van braces made with my second embellishment last week. But I opted to go for a socket this this uh, week for my vault uh, there was a hero track item that I could make into tier but honestly it's going to get replaced with a myth track anyway uh, so I opted to pick an item that I would be using for the rest of this first tier which is going to be the wrist because or the the socket on the wrist uh, because uh, this is a BIS item for me uh, so this uh, let's see looking at my currency I have 60 uh, gilded harbinger crests so I'm well within striking distance to make that um, weapon plus uh, this next coming week. So that's going to be my goal, although I will not be around this weekend. Um, actually, it's going to be uh, Haley and I's first year anniversary, and also my birthday is on Monday, uh, or a week from today as of me recording this. Uh, so we'll be busy for most of the weekend, so I'll try to have some videos and stuff like that up for you guys uh, in the meantime. Uh, but I did up my item a little bit up to 614, still have that 619 crafted POW gun. Uh, and then I have been dabbling a little bit more with Dark Ranger. You're going to see some more Dark Ranger content in... Um, uh, not in Mythic Plus, but in my um, raid, I'll probably do it on at least three fights, maybe even more uh, this next coming week, and I will be live again uh, with my raids. I was just feeling under the weather uh, last week. Uh, so let's see what else we want to share here. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look really quick. Delve, this was a delve week, so I'm almost filled uh, with my bar. I should have done more delves, but it's honestly not a big deal. This is supposed to be all season long, so don't kill yourself type thing. Uh, my brand actually got him my one of my other like stretch goals, if you will, was to get him to 50. I did that. So the Zekvir is all done. Uh, brand can get up to level 60, but the uh, experience you need gets exponentially higher as you uh, level up and you really don't get a ton of value. So if you're not an achievement hunter, it's probably not the end of the world, but it does make doing delves on your alts significantly easier. Uh, and then looking at my great vault, I guess I alluded to, we did a mythic 10. We literally had 76 deaths in a, a 10 um, City of Threads. It was not easy, but I am so proud of the entire group that stuck with it, and we were just trying to get a Myth Track item. So for the first time this expansion, I will have a potential BIS item, hopefully, uh, in that slot. Could I see a Skarden's Grace? Hmm, 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 maybe. I'll take anything that's that's useful in that slot. Otherwise, I'm going to really be just trying to get the best item possible. Maybe get uh, the ring uh, from Queen Anserek in here or the cloak uh, from Rashanon. But I'll probably uh, go to raid the first raid night since I get home and then have to go right to raid anyway. Uh, but I have uh, to so we'll see what we get because we should go probably through Rashanon on heroic. Um, tomorrow i have all heroic track on top so 610 all uh, 616 at the bottom uh, for delves and then in the middle here i have a 623 myth track and then two 619 items and then i had mentioned it so let's go ahead and look at my mythic plus rating which i skipped last week sorry about that guys uh, so this week there's quite a few affixes we had to deal with that void bound mm, it's, it's good and bad it was i didn't like it sometimes and then sometimes i did uh, but we have tyrannical uh, that challenger's peril which makes things significantly harder when you wipe it's very very bad actually uh and then uh fortified and then that zalatath skyle uh but we haven't seen any of zalatath skyle just yet uh and then fortified and tyrannical will switch and then we get a new zalatath's bargain this next week and then the week after that we'll go back to the haste one and that's the week i'm gonna really try to be pushing portals and to try to push uh, and get Keystone Hero and beyond. But I'm right now at 2149, and that's with a couple of fours on the board. So if I could dr bring these up, that'd be about another uh, hundred and probably, I don't know, easy 160 points. So that would be putting me right around roughly 2300 already. Uh, so again, making some really great progress there. Something else I did want to talk about, I know this is not really something pertinent, 
uh, to Marksman Hunter. But I've been really working on my professions, and so I'm almost done with the uh, the mail tree for all of the items I'm wanting to make. And then I'm just going to continue to do that. I've got almost all of the patterns bought. Uh, so again, making some really great progress on my character, uh, whether that be professions, uh, getting item level up. Uh, or getting those vault uh, opportunities, uh, but and then a couple other things. Uh, I had a I have a pet tame video that's going to be going up where it's a it's a pet that you can actually it's a bee that's an exotic pet, but you can actually use it and tame it on a, as a marksman hunter. But if it dies, you have to go into beast mastery, re, re summon it, that sort of thing. It's a little weird, but. I have no clue what's up with that. I've never seen that happen before in World of Warcraft, at least in my time playing, uh, that hadn't gotten patched out almost immediately. So I thought it would be kind of a fun video. I hope you guys will check that out. Uh, but I hope you guys had a really great week. Please, if you're in my Discord, let me know what you got in your vault tomorrow or Wednesday if you are an EU player. Uh, I'm really, really excited to see uh, all the progress that you guys have made. Uh, and then I will have more Mythic Plus videos. I haven't posted one really in the last couple of days. In the last one I did post had some real quality issues and I'm not sure. I usually use just OBS to record these, but for some reason the quality of that particular video was pretty bad. So I do apologize for that. And I'll, I'll work to figure out what settings are best for my recordings moving forward. Uh, but I hope you guys have a great vault tomorrow. Best of luck in Mythic Plus, Raid, whatever you do. Oh, by the way, uh, my guild is is 8 of 8 normal and 7 of 8 heroic. So we are knocking on the door to uh, AOTC. We might get it this week, but we're looking more like probably the week after, if I'm being completely honest. But thank you guys for watching. Best of luck at whatever you do in this game, and I'll see you next time.